Hi, I'm David. Welcome to my channel, A Top About. It's about that time of year again where the autumn weather will start moving in and things will become cooler out. And I think it's can be a cozy time to have a book. And so I gathered together a wide range of books from different years that I think uh, I personally like. And um, some of them may not be commonly um, well known. And most of them are fantasy books, though um, there'll be a little bit mystery mixed in, which I think um, is perfect for this time of year. Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. Elantris is the first book Brandon Sanderson got published and is one of his greats to check out. If you don't know who Brandon Sanderson is, he's a really good current fantasy writer. And he wrote one of my favorite um, series of all time, the Stormlight Archive which I really recommend to go read. The first book is The Way of Kings of that series. So much goes on in his books, like mystery, action, awesome characters, great worlds, well put together magic systems. And this book is no exception. It is a story of mystery with the fallen cursed city of Elantris and what is going on behind it all. And it is a world to get into with great characters to pull you in. A Thousand Orcs, The Hunter's Blade Trilogy, Book 1 by R.A. Salvatore. This is another heroine tale of the dark elf, Dristu Orden, and who is such a loved character that so many books were written on him. He and his friends are on an adventure they come into with the enemy taking the land. They must fight and find out about it. If you like action, I think the title alone speaks for itself and sounds cool enough to give it a try. The book writing that the author does for all his books are not really that difficult or hard reading. And if you haven't read anything about this character, Tristu Orden, I would recommend to um, check out um, the Dark Elf Trilogy which is basically this elf's beginning um, story, his backstory, that kind of helps you get into his who he is, his character. And if you're into that, um, please check out my other video that I made. Um, I made a review on um, the first book of that um, trilogy, Homeland. The Knights Templar series by Michael Jex. This is not a fantasy, but a murder mystery um, type story set in medieval Europe. I think it's kind of cool to have a, like a Sherlock Holmes type um, murder crime um, scene uh, story set in this time. It is a series that I love with action in parts. I think you can start wherever you want within this large series, though the first book is The Last Templar, if you'd like to start there, but maybe not. it may not be the best of all the books. I uh, um, recommend The Merchant's Partner. The main character is Sir Baldwin Fernshall, who is a surviving knight of the Knights Templar, who solves mysteries and has an interesting past. It's a great setting for a murder mystery. Check it out. Castaways of the Flying Dutchman by Brian Jakes, which is the first book of three. It is a tale about a boy and his dog who are the sole survivors aboard the famous cursed ship and they are saved by an angel as the only innocent ones aboard and now travel the world as um, doing whatever the angel wants them to do which is solving mysteries. Set in our world these characters have an interesting ability to live forever so the series takes them through different periods of history I think this book is a cozy read for this time of year, and it's by one of my favorite authors of all time, so I highly recommend it. The Elfstones of Shannara by Terry Brooks, sequel to The Sword of Shannara. This is an older, more classic fantasy book, um, though I think compared to the first book, it is definitely more modern, the story, and if you are a fan of the more classic fantasy books like The Lord of the Rings, I think this is something to check out if you haven't read it. It is the book the Shannara Chronicles TV series is based off of. 
um, the first um, season is the story, the full story of this book. Though I think it's a bit different for me. Um, the TV show show is comparison, though I think it's a cool way of bringing it to life. Um, I definitely think that some of the evil characters, they don't have all the evil characters in it. I think some of them are brought to life maybe a little better in the book. And yeah, something definitely to read. An ancient elven tree called the Elkrease is dying and so releasing evil beings from the far past into the world. And so it's up to a few characters to go on this journey, this quest and there's a really epic battle that takes place in this book. Honored Enemy by Raymond E. Feist and William R. Forschem. Legends of the Rift War, book one. This is a book that I have fond memories of. It is, um, the action was able to take me away into a different, um, reading different forms of fantasy. In the world of mid a huge war is waging and killing off many basically two sides um get trapped and the only way of getting out is by joining each other and basically fighting off to fight this greater enemy to survive it is well put together and the author's writing is great it's something you can get into if you're into this type of fantasy and I think it's gripping enough to give it a try. Since I'm such a big fan of the Redwall series, I had to recommend a book from it. And so I chose Meryl Fox by Brian Jakes, which um, I think is perfect for this time of year. It's about a group of murderous foxes who terrorize the land um, with their vermin horde and threaten Redwall Abbey. They are like villainous murderers, um, thieves who um, terrorize everything and they just um, and, um, try to take over everything and they bring this uh, interesting, they have this uh, um, a kind of a myth about them a magical myth about them and they bring a, definitely bring an interesting plot um, to the Redwall, unique plot to the Redwall series and if you've already read a little bit of Redwall series I also recommend um, the Legend of Luke, which you will need a little bit of the backstory of Martin the Warrior um, in it. So if you read the first few books or something like that, I definitely recommend to check this one out, The Legend of Luke, um, which is about Martin, Redwall's hero, um, warrior, Martin the Warrior, who he goes off and travels to his homeland to find out what happened to his father, Luke the Warrior. And so it, it kind of tells the tale of... Um, this big ship and what became of everything and this is something that I definitely um, I remember my um, when I read it years ago that I really loved and I even made a Lego ship based off the ship in it and so um, and I think definitely think this uh, that story the legend of Luke finishes basically m completes Martin's story in the Red Ball series so I think definitely I recommend to read that book as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos if you'd like to see more. I have some other videos. I've done some reviews on some books. So please go check that out on my channel. I plan on making more videos as well. So please stay around. Thanks for watching.